What does the fact that a team tests negative for two straight days after testing positive on mass or a large amount doing it, and then there's more tests of positive after that, what did the tests tell you about what might have happened in Tennessee, Dr. Sills? Well, I think anytime you have a positive test, Rich, you're always trying to understand what transmission might have occurred, where there might be exposures, and where there could be ongoing transmission. And we know that anytime somebody's exposed to COVID, um, it's not as if you become infected immediately, or maybe I should say more importantly, do you become infectious to others? Um, there's an incubation period where the virus lives and starts to replicate in the, in the new person. And then at some point, that person will test positive. They may or may not develop symptoms. As we know, not everybody develops symptoms. And then, of course, uh, as their viral load continues to increase, they can actually shed virus and become infectious to others. So anytime you have a positive case, and certainly when you have multiple positive cases, you're trying to look to say, okay, when might transmission have occurred? What do these individuals have in common? When were they around each other? When were they exposed? And so I think that uh, that's why it's been so crucial to, to get to the most accurate information possible to try to determine when those exposures might have occurred because you don't want to let everybody get back together if you're concerned that there's still ongoing transmission or infected individuals. So I guess, again, uh, just connecting dots, if a team is told to stay away and then there's reports that they've actually had some unauthorized practices and they test positive uh, after being told to stay away, that would set off an alarm bell just from the testing front. Well, we, we know, as you said, that there's a lag time between when you're exposed um, to the virus and then when you'll test positive and, and then when we get those results and, and we go back and, and, and try to put those pieces together. So um, it's an evolving story, and it's one where we, we know also that once you're exposed, you may test positive at varying times. Not everybody tests positive, mm -hmm. let's say, day two or day four. It can be up to seven, eight, nine days before someone is uh, is testing positive. Most people, we think, at present, again, when I say we, not the NFL, the broader medical community, yes. we think most people, after they're exposed, probably are going to be infected enough to turn positive on a sensitive test somewhere in two to five days, but it's, it can be a lot longer than that, and we've seen that happen. So uh, when when we find, I, and, and this is one of the many reasons why I wanted to have you on, is so many fans, when they heard about Stephon Gilmore testing positive after the Chiefs and Patriots played a game, that it's possible is it possible when that happens that he wasn't infectious on the field or does that mean he was infectious on the field if he tests positive so close to testing negative and playing with a negative test yeah it's a great question it's one where we have to say we just don't know the answer definitively but it is certainly possible and here's why again i refer back to the fact that these tests that we're doing they're incredibly sensitive which means they pick up very 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 low levels of virus in the body so, uh, you know, anytime you have a virus, it's going to start replicating. You're going to get more and more and more copies. And you have to get to a certain number of copies in the virus to, to become infectious to others, where you can spread it to others. But our tests, we believe, will actually pick that virus up even prior to that when there's still these very low levels. Now, again, no one knows exactly the timeline on those. So I would just say you never want to assume that someone was not infected uh, or infectious to others. But certainly with the sensitivity of our, our tests, you know, if someone tests negative on a, on a morning, uh, are they infectious later that day? You know, the likelihood is low, but certainly not zero.